Tell you wanna play with magic Boy, you should know what you're falling for Baby, do you dare to do this? Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse Then I added all of my crystals to the bathtub. There's the Synergy 12 and a bunch of quartz. I have um, black obsidian, malachite, fluorite. Uh, every crystal that I <laughs> that I have that I'm going to be using in the spell I put into my bathtub to cleanse the crystals, cleanse myself, and supercharge everything. Now I cleansed this countertop with Florida water and I want to feel prosperous while I get ready, while I do my hair and my makeup. So these are all of my ashes I've been collecting from my ancestor money. I'm going to burn a little bit of incense while I'm getting ready. So I'm getting a charcoal disc right now, or trying to, with one hand. I'm just putting it in there. Getting it lit. And I'm going to be burning some frankincense and myrrh. bit of basil a bay leaf a little bit of black salt And I'm gonna let this burn while I do my hair and makeup. I actually brought in some tarot cards of what I want to manifest while I'm getting ready. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, uh, the Four of Pentacles, the World, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Magician, the Sun, the Star, another Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, thank you. So we're um, about to get started with the spell itself. It is a new moon tonight, and the new moon is in Pisces, the Pisces. And as we all know, I'm a Pisces. So it's a particularly um, powerful new moon for me. Also, we're in Mercury retrograde. So sometimes spells, they don't work out the way that they should whenever you're in Mercury, we're in Mercury retrograde, but we're still going to do it. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're actually burning incense. And I got this online. Everything that I'm using today, I'm going to put in the description box um, from Amazon. You can just click on that and you can go to Amazon and purchase it if you would like to do this spell too. But I'm gonna use Lakshmi Money and Prosperity Incense. 
Uh, Lakshmi is a Vedic goddess, a, a Hindu goddess, and she is prosperity. That's what she is. That's all that she is, is prosperity. Um, we're doing a hoodoo spell. We're, we're kind of incorporating a lot of different elements, but we're actually doing a hoodoo spell tonight. So we're actually going to be calling upon Papa Legba and also Oshun. So those are two Hindu, um, or I'm sorry, two like hoodoo, voodoo, voodoo, uh, gods that we're, we're calling upon tonight. So as you can see, we have the Lakshmi um, incense burning. This is really cool. It has frankincense, myrrh, copal, bay leaf, sandalwood, lavender, sugar, rosemary, orange peel, cinnamon, rose petal, petals, amber, clove, earth, and scented oil. So it has everything that we need. <laughs> so we don't have to add anything, which is what I love. And um, over here, I have all of my crystals setting. I have some very rare crystals, but they're just like little chips of them because they're so rare. But as you can see, this is my altar that I'm working on. All right. So what I need you to do, and I've already done this, is you need to be very clear on what you want to bring in. You need to think of a specific dollar amount that you would like to have. I'm choosing $50,000. And what I want you to do is every day for seven days, you're going to write 77 times in a notebook. I have, I, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have $50,000. I am going to do, and then you're going to put what you're going to do with that money. And every day you're going to add something else that you're going to be doing with that money. So I'm so happy and grateful now that I have $50,000 and I'm going to do blah 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 all right so what we're going to do now is we're actually making our anointing herb rub and the first thing that we're going to use is bay leaf because bay leaf you can do pretty much anything money drawing with uh, bay leaf is the most powerful herb that you can use in money drawing uh, one thing that you can do it's just a really easy spell is to just write a dollar amount on a piece of bay leaf and you could either burn it or put it in your pocketbook or your pocket. So I have my bay leaf, I'm just crum crumbling it up. Basil is another really good herb for money drawing, so I'm going to use some basil. Cinnamon brings things in fast, so I'm going to use a little bit of cinnamon. And then I have cocoa, and just a touch of cocoa. Alright, so now I have my rub already. And you're going to want to get into a meditative state and really work on your chakras. I worked on mine while I was in the bathtub with my crystals. Um, so I opened up all of my chakras. So now I'm just imagining all of my chakras, top to bottom, lit up. And I'm, I'm imagining the source filtering through my crown chakra and into my third eye, my throat, my heart chakra. And all of my chakras are just lit up and they're going through and I'm imagining the power come through and I'm consecrating this herb mixture to my energy. Alright, so you're going to want a candle and this is a seven knob hoodoo candle. So basically you burn one knob every day. You would take the plastic off, obviously. And that's what it looks like. Right. And Papa 
Ligba. He loves rum. So we're actually going to give Papa Legba a little offering of rum. And I burnt his veve. Um, I'll show you what his veve looks like. Right, you're gonna say Papa Legba, Papa Legba, open the gate. And then I'm taking a safety pin. It's a pretty large safety pin. And I have my candle right here. And I'm going to engrave $50,000. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and show you. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to write what all I'm going to do with the $50,000. And then I'm going to put Oshun's Veve, as well as Papa Legba's Veve on the sides, real small. Oshun and Lashki are both Venusian gods and goddesses so we're still corresponding back to venus uh so basically this is this is going to venus all right so now i have my candle all engraved so what i want to do now is i'm going to take some uh, florida water and i'm going to cleanse it rum now my bed's gonna smell like <laughs> Florida water and rum all right now I'm gonna take some oil well, the first oil is a road opening oil my hand and you want to anoint up and clockwise to bring things in so I'm opening the road and um, I am going to have some oils on my personal website but for right now I'm using art of the root it's on Amazon in the description box below if you want to purchase any of these you can definitely do that it, they're really cool they have uh, actual herbs in them and they smell fantastic and they do what they're supposed to do all right the life of luxury oil bit of spirit oil up and clockwise I keep wanting to go counterclockwise I think that's mercury retrograde some money drawing oil obviously because we're doing a money spell so we definitely need that <laughs> And 
some Venus oil since we're using Venus in our shin. And Lakshmi. And then we're going to take our rub and we're just going to rub the herbs up on the candle. Try to get it as covered as you can. Always want to go up. You can also use a gold candle instead of green. Gold is more universal. And the, the intention that you write 77 times, you can, you burn that in your little incense bowl. I'm going to put this down and then we're going to light it and we're going to say a prayer. Now, um, I do want to let you know that hoodoo and voodoo are like offsets of the Catholic church so they're catholic in origin so whenever you do a hoodoo voodoo spell you're going to be using a lot of biblical verses prayers and saints in hoodoo and voodoo voodoo is an organized religion hoodoo is just a series of like folk magic they're very 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 similar um so we're actually going to be using a song for a money spell Alright, now as you light your candle, you're going to say Song 144. Praise be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subsides people under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them? Mere mortals that you think of them? They are like the breath, their days like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and root them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, my God. On the ten-stringed lyre, I will make music to you, to the one who gives victory to kings, who delivers his servant David. From the deadly sword, deliver me. Rescue me from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every kind of provision. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by tens of thousands in our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads. 
there will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful now that I have $50,000. Once the first knob has burnt through, you take a snuffer or a teacup or something like that and put it over to snuff out the oxygen. Do not blow it out because that blows out the spell. All right, so uh, I hope that helped. Another thing you can do is burn some ancestor money, which I'm going to do. I'm going to burn seven notes of ancestor money. So I hope that helped. Thank you so much for joining me today. He looks like a little man.